Hey guys, Travis here from PopVinyls.com and today I want to open up the Loot Crate for this month being June and the theme was Alter Ego. This is the regular Loot Crate. So let's see what's inside. Okay, let's see here. First off, we have from Quantum Mechanics a black and white variant of their Spider-Man Q-Fig which we will open up and take a closer look at later. And then we have a, the t-shirt for this month is Transformers and it's Optimus Prime, G1 Optimus Prime going from his truck form to his fighting form. That's pretty cool. Next up we have a looks like a six inch Hulk bowl from Vandor LLC and it also is a Loot Crate exclusive. We'll open that up a bit. In here we have DC Comics The New 52 Loot Crate Edition Poster Collection. So this one has 40 removable posters. Pretty cool. Then the Loot Pin. We'll take a closer look. It looks like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. For those that are part of the Secret Order of the Keys, here is the Guardians patch. And then there is the Alter Ego booklet, which gives descriptions and has some articles, cool articles and stuff in it. And then it looks like the box itself turns into uh, Optimus Prime. Okay, let's take a close look at some of these items. Okay, and here's a closer look at the loot pin featuring Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This actually unlocks a DLC, downloadable content for Saban's Power Rangers Legacy Wars, and it's an exclusive version of the Green Ranger, which is pretty cool. You can get that through the loot pins page on Loot Crate if you have a subscription with Loot Crate. Okay, and here's a close look at the bowl. It looks like it is just a regular green bowl, but it has the Hulk fingers on it, so it looks like the Hulk is holding the bowl. It's uh, six inches in diameter, so perfect for maybe your morning cereal or even a dog waterer for one of the smaller dogs. Yep, that is the Hulk bowl. Okay, and here is the black and white variant of the Spider-Man Q-Fig. Featuring Spider-Man dangling upside down off a street, po street post. And shooting his spider webs. Like I said, this is a limited edition exclusive from Loot Crate. So the black and white variant. The color variant is also going to be available in retail wide, I believe. I saw that at Toy Fair. But like I said, this is the Loot Crate exclusive black and white very pretty overall I think that Loot Crate has another great box in the Alter Ego box for June some people might say oh it's not worth it not worth it I'm looking at it like this for about twenty dollars you get an exclusive Q fig which a lot of people like the collectible figures that Loot Crate and Quantum Mechanics have been putting out also, the t-shirt is really great, and for me, it's another convention t-shirt, and since they're now making it in larger sizes, I can actually wear them. The bowl, it's a nice bowl. It's not the greatest, but it uh, definitely adds value to the crate. Um, the DC Comics miniature poster collection, I personally don't see value in that per se, but I know a lot of friends that love DC Comics and could take that poster book apart pretty quickly and plaster them along around their walls and or at work on their bulletin boards or something like that. So yeah, this is a great crate. I did not put together the Loot Crate box to form Optimus Prime because I like to keep my Loot Crate boxes as boxes, but that's another fun value there as well. So yeah, if you would like to become a Loot Crate subscriber, you can follow the link in the description of the, this video. Um, I personally love being a Loot Crate subscriber, and I have been now for a few years. And each month, it's really cool getting a box of stuff that you don't know what's in it for $20. If that's it, you're not spending an arm and a leg 
to be disappointed like I have been in the past with other crates. So yeah, so if you've gotten the, the Alter Ego box from Loot Crate, please let us know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. Bye.